and welcome back to my channel, Divinely Guided Tarot. If you're new here, my name is Angel and I'm here to bring you another general collective energy reading. This message could be for all signs, so please remember to take only what resonates with your particular situation and leave the rest behind. And as always, guys, thank you so very much for all of your likes, your comments, your shares, all of your subscriptions. Everything that you do to help get these messages out is greatly appreciated. So thank you guys so much. It means the world. All right, so let's go ahead and call in Archangel Michael to help shield, guard, and protect this portal while I channel the unguided messages for my beautiful subscribers. Help me with messages that they need to hear at this divine right time. In Jesus' name I pray. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Oh, see why I say that name before and during my messages? Ooh, the enemy has been trying to attack me a lot lately, but I'll tell you what. It's just free fuel, giving me some free energy. God, any messages that are tampered with for my collective, please allow my collective to receive those intuitive messages if they are prevented from listening to this video in any way, shape, or form. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. You will get your message no matter what collective, whether it's through me or through somebody else. We are praying to prevent the enemy from taking your messages from you. You will receive your messages in Jesus' name, amen. Oh, look at that. And my throat doesn't hurt anymore. It's not itchy, scratchy, or burning. Oh, I love you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Holy Spirit, what's the message? We have the adjudication card. It flipped over, tried to hide. And I'll tell you what, the enemy is going to always try to hide from justice. You know, that card flipped over, went back into the deck, and I kept shuffling. And then I had to go back. And there's the pathway, guys. This is all starting to look like the karmic cycle that plays out for an individual who is not of the light. Yeah, court ruled in your favor, collective. If you have not received your adjudication yet, you are about to. This is a message for your adjudication. This is a message for justice, karma being served. If you've been waiting for the Wheel of Fortune to turn in your favor, it is. You have courtship on the bottom here. This is a divine um, relationship between you and God. You've worked on this relationship with God. You've done your work. You've done your healing. You've cleaned up your act. And now the divine is coming through and giving you that offer that you've been waiting for. Not a marriage offer, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Trying to put it in context for you. Um, so let's go ahead and figure out a little bit more about what's going on here. I want to go ahead and pull out of our white tarot deck, our light worker deck here. Holy Spirit, give me a little bit of clarification of what this adjudication was about, what was ruled into my collective's favor, what is this pathway, and what do we need to know, what do we need to share with the collective right now, why is this information important for them to know right now, because we don't ever want to know things just to know things, there has to be a reason for it, you know, so this may be something that you're asking for. God, what's my path? God, when? <laughs> you know, when? Soon. Why soon? Because that's my word. <laughs> All right, let's take a look and see. Holy Spirit, what is the message for my beautiful light workers? We have full energy on the bottom here. Holy Spirit, this pathway, this journey, and we're going to take it. Because this is the pathway card and this is the journey on the pathway that we're talking about. Death did pop out here too. So this is the end of a cycle and the beginning of a new one. This isn't death as in what the world sees death as, as something scary. In relationship next to the full card, the death card is just the transformation on this journey. It's a closing out of one cycle and the entering into this pathway. Judication coming out here, death, full pathway, 
And this courthouse card, please clarify the courthouse. Yeah, you manifested this, you guys. The magician card pops out underneath the courthouse because you manifested God to please come into your life and to please make it right. And look at the face on this gentleman holding this stack of papers like, God, did you just really bless me with all of the money that I lost and was stolen? Did you just really give me back all my energy? And God's like, yep. You manifested this court hearing in the ethers. You could be facing court um, in the 3D as well. I didn't even think that that could be a possibility. It is quite possible. You may be dealing with a court case. Maybe somebody who stole from you. Maybe somebody who didn't appreciate you or tried to take advantage of you. Maybe left you with kids and didn't want to pay child support or, or alimony or whatever the case may be. Okay? The court is ruling in your favor. That's what they're showing here. They're showing the new journey for you. You manifesting this result for this court case. I like it. I feel divine feminine and divine masculine energy here. We have the eight of cups here that popped out. A lot of disappointment. This is a lot of escaping. Okay, this is a lot of covering up problems maybe. Um, maybe this issue or the situation that you're in Maybe you've been avoiding it or this other person has been avoiding it. And God is separating the situation so that way, because there's too much stagnancy in it. And I have seen that before a lot too, where people don't want to deal with the conflict or be angry. So they just don't talk about it and they just live miserably with, to, with each other avoiding the elephant in the room but this is definitely walking away leaving behind what no longer serves you dedicating up to eight years of your life you know into a project or into a relationship or into another person into a job and it just never worked out hmm Holy Spirit, give me a little bit more about this pathway. What's with this pathway? We have the Hierophant here. This is the pathway to the divine. This is a pathway with God. This is a pathway of healing and forgiveness. This is saying that you've learned to forgive yourself and you've learned to forgive others. So whatever transgression was done to you, collective, it is now before high court in spirit, you know, the spiritual high court. You don't want to go there. You can't hide up there. There's no lawyer that's going to be able to lie for you and get you off. There's no loopholes to anything. You can't hide in spirit. They read your heart. They read your intentions. And if your heart and your intentions are not pure, you will be found guilty, basically. You know, you have to have a good reason to get up there, you know, and you don't want to be up there, period, for a court case. Somebody did something really bad to one of my light workers. I mean, this could be a higher font. This could be a masculine energy in the group. Maybe you were wronged by a feminine energy. Anybody who's residing in their divine masculine energy right now, a feminine style of energy has attacked you in some way, shape, or form. That may be for some of you, not all of you, but you are on a pathway to God. There is definitely a lot of wisdom, but you also follow the rules. This is a card suggesting that you follow the rules of not only God, but you follow universal law. You also follow the law of attraction. I mean, you're, the magician card is out here. You are a spiritual alchemist. You know how to call your blessings to you. 
your wishes and your dreams are aligning with you this month in August for this, this Lionsgate portal. You are calling these blessings into your life. And it's beautiful. You have a very tall order. I have a very tall order. I know I have a tall order. I know you do too. Some of you want the sun, the moon, and the stars. And God's going to give it to you. You believe that you already have it, you're going to have it. If you don't believe that you could ever have, like don't ever say, oh, I'll never have that in a million years. Don't ever say something like that. You can go ahead and say, I don't have it now, but by gosh, I will one day. Speak positivity and speak life. Don't speak negatively at all about your manifestations or the hopes and the dreams of your heart. That's what the enemy wants you to do. Be ambitious. Go at this life full throttle. The Knight of Swords is a horse and rider who are going at energy very, very fast. They're attacking it with a lot of gusto. Okay? You can almost imagine that horse sweating and you can almost imagine how sharp that sword is. Hold on one second. Sorry guys about that, but yes, this is definitely very ambitious energy, very full throttle energy. This is energy of your ancestors. This is energy of your angels calling in divine judgment. This is also your energy running away from what doesn't serve you any longer. This is them carrying you on that very horseback away from toxic situations and into a life that belongs to you, collective. Very, very interesting. Very good energy. Ooh. And we have the Knight of Wands. Another knight out on the board here, guys. This isn't just energetic, ambitious energy. This is passionate energy attacking this new life of yours with passion and gusto. You know, these are two of the quickest knights in the deck. The swords and the wands. I like this energy for you coming out of this court hearing in the ethers. King of Pentacles, Divine Masculine Energy. Yes, coming into your wealth. Coming into your wealth. If you resonate with the Divine Masculine Energy, this is most likely you. Holy Spirit, give me a little bit of clarification with the Cannabis Oracle. Um, so we know that there is adjudication for the enemies like the, the bad things that have happened in your life and you're not going to be seeing who this is all happening to this we're talking about a collective of energy that has been piled up against you past transgressions from multiple people and it's like sentence has been called on everybody in one massive courtroom at the exact same time and you're standing here with multiple pamphlets in your hand this is telling you that you may have you may start receiving adjudication. Like people that have wronged you are going to start flashing in your mind. And you're going to start seeing the things that they did wrong to you in their life. And God's going to tell you it's now taken care of. It's been washed away. It's been made clean. And you're going to be like getting these little energetic pings. And you're like, wow, I haven't thought about that toxic woman in years. You know? I mean, I, that was 20 some odd years ago I dealt with that energy. Well, guess what? God doesn't forget offenses to his chosen ones. And now that you're crossing through this portal, you are able to have those offenses taken care of and cleaned. Like I said, you've been washed clean. Your offenses have been brought to justice. Like all of the marks on your progress report, like all of the people who tried to hurt you, they're being blotted out of your record of life, you know? 
and then all of these blessings that they tried to take from you, like their intentions for taking it from you and the joy that they wanted, the money that they wanted, the blessings that they wanted, the life that they wanted, you know, all of those good things that they want, but they don't want to do the work for it. Those things are now being blessed and handed to you. So it's not like, who is this energy that did this to you? It's a collective of energy, like all of the people that have wronged you in the past. Does that make sense? All of the people that wronged you in the past. <laughs> it's funny. I feel like some of you are dealing with so many toxic energies that you can't tell them apart. That you're like, is there any real people on the face of the planet that I can talk to? That I can be around? And we have the dance portal. You're dancing through this Lionsgate portal and you're passing every test with flying colors, they're telling me. Flying colors. You have so much joy right now. And it's true. Your joy is starting to just blossom out of nowhere. And you're not even sure where all of this positive energy is coming from. You know, when light workers pour out love and light on each other, it helps. It helps us. It's that boost. But this particular boost is almost euphoric. And it's the boost that the divine gives you. It's the boost that God gives you. It's the boost that your angels will pass to you. And if you're in this moment of spiritual euphoria, ride that wave as long as it'll go and just absorb and soak up as much information as you can along the way. Because in these moments of euphoria, you're going to have these aha moments of this is why this is happening. Oh my gosh, this makes total sense now. And it may not make sense to anybody but you, but that's the beauty of a relationship with God. Each one of us has a divine connection to God and it is as unique as the very fingerprint on your hand. So dance through that portal because there's nobody quite like you, Collective. Nobody quite like you. No. And look at you, divine being, channeling messages, talking to animals. You may have many spirit animals that you resonate with, but this channeling energy suggests that you're an empath as well. And that everything that has been done to you, you have felt like a knife to the heart. If someone told you you were ugly, you cried for a month. If someone told, me, told you they didn't like you, it would bother you until you figured out why. Because you're not a bad person and you're not mean and you're not offensive. I'm sorry, people. People just hate people to hate people. They don't have to have a reason. It's their God-given right to hate. And they choose to walk in that energy and drink from that cup until the day they die. And then on their deathbed, they go, oh, I didn't know. And I guess you did. God sent many light workers to try to break you out of that cold, hard shell. And you didn't listen. And now you have to sleep with the devil <laughs> that you married, <laughs> you know. But guys, you have a divine connection in the ethers to your higher self, to God, to your angels, to your divine ancestors, to all the animals around you. You even communicate with living plants. Yes, you're talking to trees. You're talking to flowers. You're talking to bushes. You're talking to house plants. If I could figure out how to talk to my house plant over here and go, I'm so sorry, I'm a bad succulent mom, but I, 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 if I give you water, you cry. If I don't give you water, you cry. <laughs> it's like, I, I don't know what to do for you. I changed your diaper. I fetch you. I don't know what to do. But you communicate with the plants very much better than I ever could. And I communicate with plants. I love my trees. I love all of my stuff outside. You know, I, I, I love having my feet in the ground. So you could be an earth sign. You could be a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. You know, you could like the way that dirt feels under your feet and walk around barefoot everywhere you go. That'll be specific to, to quite a few of you. You don't have to be an earth sign, but 
Um, you may adopt, um, you know, an earth sign's passion for grounding, you know, and that's good. You know, I like to adopt the energies of other zodiac signs because I find them to be very useful. Um, I learn a lot from Geminis, believe it or not. Because there's a duality about them, and when you're a reader and you're exposed to a lot of different energies, it can be hard to function with one foot in the 3D and one foot in the 5D. So if you have a, a Gemini friend, ask them how they function, balancing themselves, because they usually have a good idea about how to organize energy like that and live in two, two different extremes at the same time. You know, that's one of their traits. Um, and I try to adopt that. <laughs> All right, we have the, the Omo card. This is the card of the family, okay? I am seeing that this may have been a family that was separated. This court hearing may have actually been a divorce. If you take a look at this card and you take a look at the glass, you're going to see that there's lots of cracks in the glass. And you're going to see different fragments of life, anger, child being born, um, you know, youthful, elderly. I mean, they're, they're all in different spaces in this cracks of glass. And this divine couple is looking at their future from as far as the east is to the west, right? The sun, the moon, the stars. God is showing a glimpse in that portal of what their life is going to look like together. But I see this as also being a separation. Like God is putting two people together going, are you sure this is what you want? You're going in two different paths. Is Do you really want to go ahead and say goodbye? And I really do feel like, like it's, it's possible that there was a divorce for a very small few of you. Others of you, this is just a mass judgment being poured down on many people who have wronged you in the path, but for a very small few of you, you're going through a divorce right now. And you may have family involved, like children involved, but God is asking one thing of you, to just trust. Trust in the divine. Try to find the joy in your life again. Try to find the joy in your circumstances. Try not to live in the past Learn that forgiveness. Show your gratitude. And just live in the divine white light of our Father. Oh, there we go. The Magician card. This is the Manifester card. The card of creation. This is the same as the Magician card in the Tarot. Okay? So, and I want you to see something else. We have a masculine figure here, and we have a feminine figure here. You're going to be coming into some kind of, of union, either with your higher self, like balancing out your divine masculine and divine feminine parts of yourself, and co-creating with the universe, or this is you coming into a divine counterpart and co-creating together because you're both powerful manifestors. And I said Gemini before, and Gemini are the twins. This could potentially be a twin flame. I'm not sure, I don't see this as being love bonding, but I see two powerful manifestors coming together and having a bond with one another. Now this could be you bonding with yourself, your, your masculine and feminine parts of yourself, or your higher self. Some of you, your higher self is a different sex than what you are here on earth. You see yourself as a divine masculine, but you're a divine feminine here. Or you see yourself as a divine feminine, but you're a divine masculine. Like some of you see yourself in different energies. And that's okay too. You're not abnormal. It's just everybody is built differently, but it is significant. So either you are coming into a partnership with somebody of the opposite sex who is also similar to your energy frequency and abilities in manifestation, or you are balancing out 
your own masculine and feminine energies within yourself. There's both on the board here, both situations. You could be a Gemini. Holy Spirit, come through and give me... Mm, yeah, they're... Yeah, they want, they want the spirit animals right now. I was going to maybe pull out the herbal astrology deck, but they send it to. But it would just confuse the energy. But it's not what they want. They don't want this to roll into a love reading. They want this to roll into a divine pathway reading. They want you to feel confident that you're crossing through this portal and you're doing it in the divine right way. Make sense? Okay, guys. Let's take a look and see. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What spirit animals do we have for this divine person in my collective? Two. One more. One more. Here we go. Actually, they threw out two more, so... I guess you got four. There's nothing wrong with that. We like four. We have the loon again. Guys, the card of intuition. You can't go wrong with this foul. Okay, so it says listen to the song in your soul. Trust your intuition as you have a way of knowing. Emerge from this busy life and seek more solitude. Recognize that you are unique and that you are loved. Yes, you are loved. You would not have divine judgment being called into your life, guys, that you have been manifesting. You called this manifestation forward, and it's coming into your life. Like I said, you're practicing the law of attraction, and it's starting to pay off. This is the cougar card, the card of the assertive. It says, in silence, you find power. Claim your leadership role and take action. You know where to go and what to do, and you have the courage and the confidence to succeed. Beautiful card, isn't it? I get a lot of Aztec vibes off of this um, mask, this, this sun mask that's on here. I feel uh, a lot of Mayan energy off of that. It looks like one of their runes. Okay, guys, we have the goose this is the card of the inner knowing. Do you remember how we talked about on this channel how it things are energies are ingrained or um, etched on your your very own DNA? You can't understand why we nest um, before you know a big change happens in our life. Just like these beautiful birds don't understand why they're migrating, but they just have a calling to fly south, to fly to a warmer place. They, they're, they're flying to a place they've never been to before, but they just know they have to go, you know, and they have to follow their leader and listen to their wisdom. You know, the, the, the other geese that are in the flock leading the way and showing the younger ones how to go. It says, you are a brave traveler your soul knows the way. Be confident you will achieve your destination. Loyal friends are always with you. Don't worry. You are blessed. Let yourself fly. Isn't that gorgeous? I like that one. And I did see this one pop out and I saved it for the very end because, guys, this is a special one. This is the unicorn. And you have some beautiful butterfly spirits there for you. Lots of mystical energy on here, just like you. But I also see two unicorns on here. I see two light workers, two divine beings. Like I said, could also be a Gemini, but you see one unicorn has his head um, draped over the, the smaller feminine unicorn. This is guarding her, protecting her. I see this as a male and a female, guys. And it's divinely blessed. That butterfly means rebirth, right? This is newness, unique, something that nobody's ever seen before. You were always supposed to be the very last unicorn, but whoa, now there's another one. You see what I mean? 
This is a card of infinite possibilities. It says you are the sovereign of the seen and unseen worlds. The magic of love surrounds you. Beauty transforms you. Listen to the spirits of light. Abandon the darkness. Go beyond the ordinary and become the legendary. Ooh, I love it, you guys. I love it. I love it. So let's go ahead and pull you out some closing messages for this beautiful energy. We have King of Pentacles energy on here. So if you are a feminine in your divine masculine energy, um, if you are a masculine in this group, this message belongs to you. I love it. Powerful. Going, I mean, what better news is that that you have a court hearing and you're coming out the victor? What? Yeah, like you're coming out the victor. So there's two and do three. Let's see what we got. Holy Spirit, what's our closing messages? It says, I fear not for God is with me. I do not look around in terror and be dismayed for he is my God. He will strengthen and harden me to difficulties. Yes, God will help me. Yes, he will hold me up and retain me with his hand of rightness and justice. And that is from Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10. You don't have a fear in the world because you know who God is. Your God is the God of infinite possibilities. And the same power that flows in his veins flows through yours because God lives inside of you. When you invite the Holy Spirit into you guys, that's God being invited to live within your body. And God will make sure that anything that doesn't resonate with what he sees for you, he's going to start pushing out of your life, okay? That's the one thing that nobody ever talks about. You know, oh, you have to heal. You have to heal. Healing requires change. And change, it's not the healing that people fear. It's the change that people fear. You know, if we can eliminate the fear in, in changing who we are, this world could be so much better and will be one day <laughs> soon. <laughs> it says, I cannot do everything. So I choose only those things which are vital and excellent and of real value. I have wisdom and am able to distinguish the highest and the best things for me to do. And that's from Philippians chapter one, verse 10. This is saying that guys, I may be a great artist. I may love to sing. I may want to join the worship leaders and the worship team and practice once a week and sing in church on Sunday morning, you know. I may love to bicycle ride. I may love to work out. I may love to go hiking. I may love to go fishing. But are we able to do all of the things that we want? No. There would never be enough time for us to be able to do absolutely everything we ever wanted to do, okay? Because we're only one person and half of that time is spent sleeping, <laughs> you know? Our bodies require so much rest and the other time it's, you know, worrying about responsibilities and working in a 3D job that stops us from being able to live our highest lives, you know? It stops us. So it's like, what do I do? Well, God's saying you can't do it all. You can love other things, but you just got to choose the things that resonate with you. Things that are of excellent and of real value to you. If you find it valuable to be outdoors more than indoors, then choose those things outdoors that are of your highest good and start taking away the indoor projects that are not of your highest good, that don't really matter. This is what God's talking about, is just organizing your energy a little bit better. Starting to balance, starting to trust God, 
that he's got the energy in hand, okay? Channeling energies that resonate with you. When I first started channeling you guys, I was, I mean, that door was thrown wide open and I was exposed to all the dark, all the light, and everything in between. I mean, and it was so overwhelming for me. I was a yo-yo. I was crying one day, I was happy the next, until I started realizing this isn't what I'm feeling, this is what somebody else is feeling that's around me. And I started realizing that I was picking up energies from future people that were going to be coming into my life. Like I wanna say three to six months before new people come into my life, I'll start to receive energetic pings of them and I'll start seeing glimpses of both of our timelines together and separately. <clears throat> so God prepares me. And um, I feel like that's something that's very important for this message for you to know. That you may be opening yourself up to channeling for the first time, but I'm like, you have to be very specific when you open up a door. Like I'm only opening up a door for the Holy Spirit and for archangels and for God to communicate through. Those are the only individuals that have permission to allow energy through any energy that is not reside or of my highest good the archangels that protect and guard these readings, the Holy Spirit, God himself and Jay-Z, they don't let that energy through. Only if it pertains to the message, only if they want you to know about it. So you see how many times, like, good old Satine comes out, you know? They allow that card to come out, but that's also part of my test. Am I going to take the bait? and run off on a different angle for this message, or am I going to stick with the message that God is talking to me about? So that's why I put Satine on the shelf. You know what I mean? And so I just wanted to kind of explain myself if you were ever wondering about that. And I love that this is the last one. It says, as I think in my heart, so am I. And that's Proverbs chapter 23, verse 7. As I think in in my heart, so am I. When we talk about God living in us and inviting God into our body, into the Holy Spirit, into our vessels, we're inviting God to live in us. And as you think in your heart, you are. So let's say you believe um, that you are light, you believe that you are loved, you believe that God exists, you believe that um, you're calling your blessings to you, it's all going to happen. Remember the law of attraction, right? That's God's law. The law of attraction is God's law. Did you know Jesus spoke about it? If you want something in your life, believe that it is already yours and God will deliver it. Jesus said that. He preached on that. That's manifestation 101. That's law of attraction 101. Only they called it something different. They just called it a Bible lesson, you know? You collective are manifesting like crazy. You are calling in everything to you. Justice. Um, you're calling in blessings, you're calling in your destiny, you're calling in your calling. Some of you are like, I want to know what you plan on putting me into work in. I want to know what promotion you have for me, God. Will you please tell me what it is I'm supposed to be doing here? Because I'm getting too old to be sitting here twiddling my thumbs. It's time to move, you know. There's a great shift in energy right now and everybody is being ushered through a portal. And if they're going through the portal, your possibly your next guides are going to be meeting you on that side or some of your guides are going to be following you. But it is common for some guides to leave your life and for new ones to come in in their place. Okay, so don't be, don't be so attached to the spiritual guides in your energy. 
because there are many, I for, for your energy right now, I'm showing many spiritual guides. Some that come and go, some that you haven't seen for a long time, and a lot that need to still come in. So that's a lot of energy for you and a lot of good places to start with praying in your own private time to ask God about and resonating with this energy, okay? So wherever you are in the world, guys, um, just take care of yourselves, stay focused, stay grounded, and just keep your energy balanced and always high vibing. And whatever it is that you are receiving adjudication in, just remember to first and foremost, thank God. Thank God for, for bringing justice into your life and protecting you when the world saw you as an enemy. Okay? Just thank God for all of that because that's God's plan for you. And you're going to do wonderful things on this path. It's not really revealed yet what you're going to do on that path, but you have all of the precursory foundation to be able to do this pathway with success. And that started with all of the karmic fleas being burned off of your skin when you crossed through that portal and divine judgment was called. It's like a light switch being flipped on and the energy changes, guys, and it's happening to all of us, all of you, all of us, all of them. Your enemies are starting to awaken to what they've done to you and everybody else that they've ever done it to. People aren't feeling very good right now if they're if they've if they are in their south node, okay? This is an age of karma. And God's not playing around. We've heard this message coming for a while now. I've heard it coming from tarot readers for about a year now. Since last summer, they've been preaching about this. And it's finally coming forward, you guys. Okay? So just stay grounded. Continue to trust God. Continue to channel those messages from the divine. And remember that you are the creator of your destiny. You have infinite possibilities ahead of you. All you have to do is reach out and grab a timeline that you resonate with and start walking on that path. Okay, guys? So wherever you are in the world, take care of yourselves and God bless you all.